Yes, my name is Madvi, and this, um, today I'm going to be talking about some of the work that I've done with my dance company, uh, Prakriti Dance, about a production that we've created called Through Fish Eyes, which aims to raise awareness about um, marine ecosystems and also kind of make people a little bit more aware about some of the things we're doing to our oceans so they can reflect on their own actions. So we showcase the classical Indian dance style um, called Bhadatanatyam. But even though we're working with a classical dance style that um, originated thousands of years ago in the South Indian temples, we really aim to um, bring relevance to it, interpret modern day themes, so that it doesn't feel like it's something that's just kind of frozen in time. It's really an ever evolving art form. And, you know, kind of along with that, we really want to use it to transcend cultural boundaries. We don't want people to feel like it's something that's only Indian people can do or watch or understand, that you know, dance is really universal language. The dance style itself is very expressive, as you'll see. Um, so we, we want to engage with people in a lot of different contexts. We do a lot of work in um, especially schools and K through 12 schools doing outreach workshops and things like that. Um, so we really want to explore the voice of the Indian diaspora in the United States. So we're culturally rooted uh, both in India and here, and we want to bring both those sensibilities together. And that goes not just for the dancers and kind of um, the artistic leadership of the company, but also for um, all of the musicians and the, um, people who we collaborate with are primarily based in the US. So Kashi Isola and I co-founded the company in 2014, and he um, choreographed and directed this production. And Ramya Kapadia is our assistant artistic director. Um, you will get to hear her voice in all of these recordings because she's also a beautiful singer and music composer. Um, so she also was really um, heavily involved in the choreography and the uh, artistic direction of this piece. I'm actually going to do a short introductory uh, piece live for you. So oh, that was just kind of a short excerpt about of one of our pieces about water and kind of the cycle of water, all the different forms of water, whether it's kind of the raging waters, kind of a light drizzle, torrential rains, whatever you want to interpret today's weather as, <laughs> and um, even kind of like the small whirlpools in the water you know, the mist that you feel on your body, kind of trying to show all of these different aspects of water. Basically, I want you to uh, work in groups of two or three and think about um, one animal from the ocean and how you might show it. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. One thing that we played with a lot in um, kind of a running theme in the production was relationships, relationships between different organisms, but also relationships between humankind and the ocean. I mean, I think like that shows the ki kind of contrast from the beginning to the end, even in terms of um, costuming, thematic matter, everything of kind of, you know, like there was this beautiful ocean, or it's still beautiful, but, <laughs> um, and, you know, we used to have a kind of beautiful um, sort of codependence with it where we weren't um, overtaking it. And, um, 
Um, we've kind of fallen away from that now. Um, this particular show, kind of the personification of the relationship, we drew a lot from um, poetry in the Sangam era, which is um, like ancient South Indian Tamil poetry. Most of it is about um, love and relationships and kind of, uh, yeah, talking and at that time, the way the poetry was written, it was very, sometimes you can't really tell whether they're talking about people or nature because everything was so um, personified and they just saw themselves in the landscapes. And actually when they think about the different stages of relationships, they describe it as different um, landscapes from you know like the lush rainforests to um, kind of the desert. <laughs> um, so we wanted to draw from those images that we'd seen and that we could recreate for the audience to be powerful, whether it was the coral reef, <laughs> whether it was, you know, um, the tortoise and the straw, the fish getting separated from the mother, um, jellyfish, th it, like all of these things that, you know, to, to help the audience like trigger their own memories and experiences, but also to kind of um, weave them into a storyline and a progression that was kind of telling our point <laughs> and, and kind of, um, you know, uh, bringing people into the fact where both they could appreciate the beauty of the ocean, but they could also kind of be awakened to um, the current state of affairs of our disharmony with the earth. <laughs>